internet and social media is full of techniques hacks which can help you manifest faster chant a particular word x number of times a day write down an affirmation x number of times or multiple times in a day and you will start seeing manifestations happen now do these techniques and hacks work I don't know because I have never really used any of these in my life. Why? Because I believe in using law of attraction on a very deep level, on on a soul level, on understanding every exercise and understanding why are you trying to do what you're trying to achieve and what is the end goal. And if you look closely, all these hacks and techniques which are available online, they are also created in a manner that they can help you create a ritual, understand what can you do to get into the feeling and vibration of manifesting faster being more positive and raising your vibration and feeling more confident about manifesting what you want to manifest now imagine if i can just give you five very easy natural ways in which you can raise your vibrations you don't have to go out of your way you don't have to uh, chant something without having a deep connection to that chant you just do these five things as per your schedule as per your convenience as per your wish and you will automatically raise your vibrations manifesting is all about being in the right alignment being in the right vibration so that you can attract things that you are trying to manifest out of your desire so instead of working on chance let's focus on real world ideas which you are anyway implementing in your life which will help you manifest faster stick till the end because at the end i'm going to tell you my most favorite uh, choice of these all of the five that i'm going to share with you the way which has always helped me and how has it helped me for multiple years now so hello and welcome to episode 37 of manifest with paycheck to profit a pod- a weekly podcast which helps you use law of attraction understand the whole concept of manifestation and get more wealth into your life attract more wealth into your life using simple ideas solving all your questions about law of attraction and helping you get financially free i am manish ahuja your favorite money mindset and financial literacy coach and also founder of paycheck to profit paycheck to profit is a community for millennials and gen zs helping you build a new and healthy relationship with money change your money mindset identify and eliminate money blocks out of your life using law of attraction and walking towards your financial freedom one step at a time without further ado let's get started and let me tell you about the five easy ways to raise your vibration out of which the first and the most easiest way is to start blessing others now i've mentioned this in earlier episodes of this podcast as well whenever you see somebody manifesting or uh, living the life that you wish to live bless them for already achieving what you're trying to achieve if somebody gets a mo- uh, if somebody gets a if somebody in your office gets a raise gets a promotion gets into a new role that you've been trying to get to bless them show give them more positive blessings send them more positive energies because when you are actually in the state of blessing when you are in the state of being positive for others success you are getting closer to your success having the right emotion of gratitude having the right emotion of being present is very 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 powerful and when you expand that uh, aura of yours towards other people's achievements you are clearing the way you are clearing your subconscious mind to manifest whatever you desire the second is something that i have this is, is actually an extension of the first one is to learn how to practice gratitude at all times gratitude is one of the most powerful tools techniques and the most fundamental ways to start manifesting quicker start manifesting better than what you are trying to desire and actually manifest consistently gratitude as an exercise is easy gratitude helps you clear your energy gratitude always helps you get feel better and gratitude will always help you get into a better mood so practice gratitude as much as possible let me extend my gratitude to you for spending so much time with this episode and listening to me I would like to invite you to become a member of the Profit Clan. Profit Clan is an email community of Paycheck to Profit members where I share with you links to the new episodes that are coming out on the YouTube channel. If I'm launching a new masterclass or a new product or a new freebie or maybe I'm just 
uh, I've just posted a reel which has gotten really good traction. I share everything with my online community and which is called the Profit Clan. And this clan is literally incomplete without you. So please make sure to check the show notes or the link in the description and become a part of the Profit Clan. Moving on, the third technique, the third way, easy way to raise your vibration and manifest faster is to start practicing journaling. Journaling is very easy. It's very powerful because the more you journal, the more clarity you get in your life. You find an outlet to flush out all the toxic thoughts, toxins uh, in, your sub on your, in your subconscious mind. You get new perspective. And most importantly, you get a lot of new energy to focus. And that focus will help you stay grounded, stay uh, motivated on your path and achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. If you would like me to create more content, more episodes on how to journal and find ways to manifest faster, how to use journaling technique in a much easier manner, do not forget to uh, comment the word journal in the comment section below the like button. And the more comments I get, I'll have the right motivation to create an episode on how to use journaling to start manifesting uh, and improving your law of attraction practice. So please do comment the word journal in the comment section below the like button. The fourth way to raise your vibration is find a way to volunteer, find a way to help someone. The more you help someone, you realize that you are gifted. The more you help someone, you are spreading the joy. The more you help someone, you are making their life easier. You're, you're becoming, you're becoming a catalyst towards them achieving and fulfilling their desires and that is that will result into a lot of positive energy coming towards you that will help you to feel more positive about yourself and that is a very wholesome feeling i can tell you this because i have now created 37 episodes of this podcast every time i get a comment with some profit clan member telling me that you know what manish this particular episode has really helped me this particular episode gave me the clarity that i was looking for it is a very fulfilling moment of my life so find a way to volunteer in a, a ngo in a organization where you can just go and spend some time or if you can volunteer through financial means if you don't really have the time do that go and help somebody who does, who is not as privileged, who is not as resourceful as you and you will definitely find the impact of that happening in your life at all times. Volunteering and helping others is a very, very underrated idea which not many people talk about. So please make sure to implement that in some capacity or the other in your life at all times. Fifth, this is a very, this may sound very simple, but let me share the perspective after I tell you the fifth way to raise your vibration is do something that makes you happy. Now, if you are indulged or if you are invested towards working on fulfilling all your desires on achieving your goals, you are going to be extremely focused and you'll at one point lose the sight that your focus is actually becoming obsession. Hence, it's always a good idea to have ways to dis detach yourself, disconnect yourself from your work and give yourself time to rejuvenate and what's the best way to rejuvenate rather than doing something that you like you may like to paint you may like to write you may like to uh, read poems you may like to just read novels or some books go catch up with a friend talk to your family members spend time with your family spend quality time with your spouse do this on a regular basis because for you to work imagine you you're probably watching this episode on a cell phone or a laptop it your devices need charging at a regular basis for it to function for a long time. If you're watching this on a television, your television needs to be plugged into your electric socket at all times for it to function. Similarly, humans also work on energy, which gets translated into our vibrations. And if all our energy is being expended towards fulfilling our goals and achieving our goals, we are not really recharging our soul energy to be prepared for the next challenge, the next day, the next task that comes our way. So the fifth way is to make sure that you find ways to do things that make you happy besides working on your on fulfilling your goals at all times. As I promised to you, I will share with you the way which has helped me the most, which is my favorite way. And it has to be journaling. As I mentioned during the journaling point, 
journaling helps me to clear my mind journaling helps me to create a road map journaling helps me to get the right perspective of why am i doing what am i doing why am i continuing to do something even if i'm not getting if i feel that i'm not getting closer to the goal everything that you do with the right intention everything that you do with the intention to help or serve people is going to compound and is going to find a way to give you rewards in your life so there have been multiple times when i have found the right perspective there have been times when i have realized that i'm not doing something with the right intention so i have had the perspective to realign my intentions and improve the impact of my content of my business of my uh, way of working and it has always helped so very quickly let me consolidate all the five points for you the five easy ways with which you can raise your vibrations find a way to bless others who are achieving whatever you wish to achieve or whenever somebody else is progressing in their life make sure that you practice gratitude multiple times a day it's very easy you can be you don't even have to be grateful for complicated or large things or large achievements you can just be grateful that today you found a seat in the public transport while you were going to work uh, you can be grateful that today the pune of your office kept the bottle of water on your cubicle even before you entered the office you can find the easiest and the smallest ways to f- be grateful for third point journal journal as much as you can journal as often as you can journal with a lot of uh, consistency and you are definitely bound to get results of journaling over a short medium or long term period journaling the magic of journaling compounds that's all what i'll say volunteer and find a way to help others that's your fourth point to start manifesting faster by raising your vibration and the fifth point is do something that makes you happy i hope this has given you a lot of perspective let me know what has been the most important a uh, moment of realization for you in this episode what is going to be the one point that you are going to start implementing on asap basis uh if you have enjoyed this episode let me recommend you to go and listen to the earlier episode the one which i had released last week which was episode number 36 which is five essentials of successful manifestation in that particular episode i talked to you about what are the five elements that you must ensure to make sure that you are manifesting in the right way manifesting faster and manifesting with the right amount of conviction and confidence especially i like this episode in a lot because in that episode i am sharing the story the way i shared my story of journaling being my most favorite or most impactful way to raise my vibration in the 36th episode i share somebody else's story from the prophet clan so listen to that episode it's a special episode for me and a quick reminder make sure that you join and become a part of the profit clan the clan is incomplete without you just in case if you've been listening to this episode while running your errands or while you're driving i'll very quickly tell you the url of paycheck uh, of profit clan it's paychecktoprofit.com/profitclan that's p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t.com/slash p r o f i t c l a n paychecktoprofit.com/profitclan if you have any questions about law of attraction or anything that you've heard in this episode please do not hesitate to take 10, 5 seconds and just leave a comment and ask me a question in the comments below you can also choose to follow me on instagram and twitter and all other social media platforms where you can connect with me reach out to me on dm and ask me your questions please do me a favor if you've been listening to this episode till this time you've probably gotten some value at least so take 2 seconds and just like this episode or leave a five star rating to this episode on the podcast application where you're listening to this episode this takes you very little effort but has a very strong impact on the reach of this podcast and i'll be ever grateful for you to do that if you've been listening to this episode on a podcast application of your choice you can watch this episode and all the past episodes on paycheck to profit youtube channel you'll find the link in the show notes below and if you've been watching us on youtube make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel and you can also subscribe to manifest with paycheck to profit on social media uh, on podcast applications of your choice all across take a screenshot of this episode share it on your instagram stories and do not forget to tag p2 pro and mr emojical that's my personal handle and i will amplify your story but what will happen when you actually share this is you will be supporting manifest with paycheck to profit and somebody else in your following list will get to know about this episode and who knows you will become the catalyst for them to manifest 
the dream or the desires that they have been stuck with for the longest time. Let me know your stories of manifesting, manifesting and manifestation and I'll be more than happy to uh, look at your story, figure out if there's a way to share your story in one of my future episodes. See you in the Prophet Clan. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for listening to this entire episode or watching us till the end. I'll now see you in the next episode. Until then, please take good care of yourselves. Keep going, keep going.